Today we are doing a short instruction of how to prepare a density gradient centrifugation. Uh, we have a few alternatives that you can use depending on the treatment uh, that you're using. First of all, we have the Pure Sperm 100 and the buffer system where you prepare the gradients yourself. Uh, so you mix them to the desired density that you want. Uh, then we have the Pure Sperm 90 and Pure Sperm 40. They are ready to use. Uh, and then you have the Pure Sperm 40 and Pure Sperm 80 that are also ready to use. The Pure Sperm 40 and 90 will give you a higher percentage of motile spermatozoa, uh, while the Pure Sperm 40 and 80 uh, will give you a higher yield. Uh, today I will show you the Pure Sperm 40 and 80. So we start by taking the 80 layer and putting two milliliters into our centrifuge tube. And then you take the 40 layer <coughs> and carefully layer two milliliters on top of the 80 layer. And it's good to do this by running the liquid down the inside of the tube, making sure you don't get any jerky movements in the pipette. Taking your time to make sure that this the flow is, is steady, will ensure that the raft between the two layers is uh, sharp, which will make a better separation. You then take your semen sample <coughs> and carefully layer it on top of the two previous layers. The maximum amount of semen that we recommend putting on top is one and a half milliliters. Otherwise you risk uh, getting an overloaded gradient and you get uh, immotile sperm in the pellet. And when you're finished, uh, a good gradient will have a clear uh, raft in between the two layers uh, and then the semen will be layered on top. And now the gradient is ready to be centrifuged. <clears throat> Make sure you put a, another tube in the centrifuge to balance it with the same volume. The program should be set to 300 Gs for 20 minutes. Uh, there are instructions on our website on how to calculate the correct RPM for your specific centrifuge. While you're waiting for the gradient to centrifuge, you can add your washing medium to a new centrifuge tube. So you add five milliliters of pure sperm wash. And now you're ready to take out your gradient. And be careful not to disturb the layers. And you remove the supernatant from the top uh, with a circular motion along the inside of the tube.
Remove all the liquid down to approximately two to four millimeters above the pellets. And we now take a clean pipette and pick up our pellet and re-suspend it into the washing medium. And now uh, the washing medium is ready to be centrifuged. This time at 500 Gs for 10 minutes. Once the second centrifugation step is finished, you take out the tube from the centrifuge. And now you're gonna remove the supernatant again. <coughs> And depending on what the sample should be used for, you leave the appropriate volume of washing medium plus the pellet. And now you can just resuspend the pellet in the medium. Now you can leave the sample uh, in room temperature until it's being used.